Hello and welcome to another episode of Open and Shut Quality Book Reviews. My name is Ken. Thanks for stopping by tonight. So for those who know who Neil Gaiman is, usually it's because of his uh, book American Gods, which has since been adapted as a television show over on the Stars Network. Or maybe it's because they're familiar with his work on the Sandman graphic novels. Some people might also know him from the animated movie Coraline, which was adapted from his book of the same name. Well, in 2015, he released a collection of short stories uh, titled Trigger Warning, Short Fictions and Disturbances, and it's good. As far as my favorite stories in the book, there's a few of them. Uh, the thing about Cassandra, very good. Uh, so the premise is, what would you do if a fake high school boyfriend or girlfriend that you made up so that people would stop bugging you about not having a boyfriend or a girlfriend in high school, so what would you do if one of your buddies from high school told you that your, uh, your fake relationship reached out to them on Facebook asking about you? Yeah. That's, that's a weird premise, and it's very entertaining, and I, the way it unfolded surprised me. And I'm not often surprised, it seems, by things that I read or movies that I watch. So that was that was exciting. That might be my favorite story in the book. Maybe. Not quite 100% sure about that. There's a section in the book full of what he calls a calendar of tales. And so these are little vignettes for each month of the year. They're all pretty well done. October Tale is by far my favorite one. It's about a woman who finds a genie in a lamp, and the rest of the story unfolds very strangely as she refuses to make a wish, any wish at all. And then the other one that I liked in that group was uh, December Tale. I think it's wish fulfillment. I believe everyone would read that and say, oh yeah, I, I wish that would happen to me especially when you're feeling depressed or down. I mean, let's face it, if you've ever felt helpless or hopeless, you'll relate to the story. My next favorite is Click Clack the Rattle Bag, and this reminds me of Stephen King in the best way possible. It's very short, very well done, and creepy as hell. It's good. Uh, and if you were a teenager reading this, you would never ever volunteer to babysit ever again. Oh ever. And for those people who are fans of new Doctor Who, there's an 11th Doctor with Amy Pond adventure. Uh, and some of you might know that Neil Gaiman also wrote uh, an episode of Doctor Who during Matt Smith's time as the Doctor. It's very good. The short story is also very good. It's called Nothing O'Clock and it will fully reawaken your nostalgia for the time that Matt Smith was the Doctor. My least favorite was something called The Truth is a Cave in the Black Mountains, and I just couldn't get into it. Couldn't get into the setting, the characters, the plot. It just felt overly long for a book of short stories, and it never grabbed me. I, Yeah, I guess it's probably not a bad story. It just was not my cup of tea. Likewise for all the poetry. There's a, there's a few stories that come in poem form, and I don't like poetry at all. But there's 24 different stories and or poems in the novel, so there's plenty to choose from. There's probably something for just about everybody in this book. And all of the ones that I've made mention of here, for me, made the purchase of the book worth it. So highly recommended. And of course, as always, I will put the links to the book in the description box down below for you so you can go check it out yourself. It also, at the end of the book, uh, past the, uh, the summary and everything, is an excerpt from Neverwhere, which is one of my favorite novels by Neil Gaiman, and it's about London Below, a whole different world existing in subterranean London. It's good. 
to check it out too. Maybe I'll do a review on that in a few weeks. And that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by today. As always, don't forget to subscribe while you are here. And then after you have subscribed, please hit that bell icon so that you get a notification every time I post something new to the channel. Uh, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel at don'tpunishpain.com where I make informational videos about what it's like to live with various chronic illnesses. You might find that to be interesting. I'll let you go for now. Until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care and happy reading.